It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my Valentine's Day special edition. Hey guys, it's time to make the donuts. I hope you are excited to make this wonderful treat. And I'm gonna start off with my one cup of milk and my one large egg in a large mixing bowl. And you wanna mix this all together until it's well incorporated. And for the supplies, ingredients, and recipe, you already know it will be listed in the description box below. Now here I'm adding in my flour. I'm gonna start adding in all my ingredients. And make sure you don't forget the instant, instant yeast. That is what's gonna make this dough um, the donuts. So you wanna mix that until it starts to, well, incorporate. And make sure y'all watch this whole video because this, can be a little bit delicate um, when making dough. So don't miss out on any steps that you see here. Now, once you start to mixing and you see that it's sticky, you wanna go ahead and add in your butter and it's gonna even be more stickier, <laughs> okay? So don't skip these steps. You wanna mix and combine this all together and do not add any flour at this point because this is what's gonna make the dough soft. All right, so remove your bowl and onto a clean, dry surface. You're going to knead your dough until it becomes nice and smooth and there's no more sticky. All right, so as you see here, I am kneading my dough and yes, it's gonna be sticky and you can grab you a scraper to help with this process, but please do not skip this step and do not add any flour. So you're gonna keep kneading until it becomes smooth. And if you just can't handle it, then throw it into a mixing bowl and use your dough hook, all right? Now you wanna use your dough hook until your bowl becomes squeaky clean. But for me, I'm gonna keep kneading, all right? <laughs> all right, so as you see here, it's not that sticky anymore and i'm able to spread it out so you want to spread your dough out and make sure you have like a uh, window stretch they call it a window pane look um and that's when you know your dough is ready so when it becomes like this then we're ready to make the donuts now once you have formed your dough into a ball you want to grab a large bowl and lightly oil the inside of the bowl this will prevent your dough from sticking once it has gone through the next process. Then you're going to lightly oil the outside of the dough and now you can cover it and you want it to be covered with a towel or a saran wrap, whichever one you choose. And it's going to sit for one hour or until it double in size. Now, after that process, you want to uncover it and then press nice little fist on the inside just to release the air and then remove it from your bowl as you see here and this how it should turn out to be. Nice, soft, and smooth. Now, you're gonna take some flour and lightly uh, cover your surface. Do not add too much flour. If you do, you will dry out your dough. You wanna cut it in half to begin the process of your donuts, your donut cutouts, all right? So what I'm gonna do next is take my rolling pin, lightly flour the rolling pin, and then begin to roll out your dough so you can cut out your donuts. And I'm rolling it out so it will be about a half inch thick, and we're going to Continue on with the process. Now I'm using a heart cutter for my donuts just for Valentine's Day. And if you were using a circle cutter, this will be the same process. And to create the hole, you're going to use either a heart cutter or you can use the circle cutter and normally i use the back of a piping tip to create the hole in the center of the donuts 
But for this case, we're making hearts. So I use the smaller heart cutter to create the hole for this particular donut. Now you wanna get your uh, line cookie sheet and place it to the side and then begin to place your donuts on there. And once you have done that, then the next step is just easy. This, this is an easy process, y'all. So um, I hope you all are excited to make the donuts. But as you see the, here, these I'm making my field donuts so these are going to blow up nicely or rise nicely and here are the heart donuts you want to make sure you cover your tray after you have created your cutouts and set them to the side and they're going to sit for 20 minutes now after they have set for 20 minutes you're going to see them rise up just a little bit and then we're ready to fry our donuts So in a frying pan, you want to add in your vegetable oil or canola oil. And you want to heat up your oil on medium to low heat. And as you heat up your oil, then you begin to place in your donuts. Now you want them to cook until they are brown on both sides. Now once one side has started turning brown, then you want to go ahead and flip them over and let the other side brown. Once both sides are brown, your donuts are done and then you can remove them and place them onto another cookie sheet with paper towel or if you have a rack you can place them on there but you're going to get prints if you place them on a rack so whichever one you choose but i'm using a cookie sheet with paper towel and placing them over there as they are finished Now let's make the icing. I'm starting off with one cup of powdered sugar, one eighth teaspoon of red food coloring, and a tablespoon of water. You wanna mix this until it all comes together and it's going to be nice, red, vibrant, and pretty. And I am using a powdered food coloring by Sugar Art. And I will leave all that stuff in the description box below, so don't worry. All right, so once this has nicely mixed, you are going to set it aside and then get your donuts and begin to dip as you see here now i'm going to add in some sprinkles with some of my donuts but this is really fun to make you guys so if you want to do something special for the family or for your customers this here is it so check this out and watch me dip
So now it's time to add the strawberry filling. This is an already store-bought strawberry filling. And as you see here, you want to create a hole in the center or the top of the donut and then begin to fill in your filling until it fills to the top as you see here. And then once you have done that, it's time to dip into your icing. But before you dip into your icing, if it sits a while and create a crust, just take your whisk and mix it up before you dip and then apply your sprinkles. Now when switching um, colors and you want to create another color, um, you can start off with as much powdered sugar as you like. I always start off with one cup or two cups, but this is one cup of powdered sugar and I added in two tablespoons of water, which was too much. So anytime that you add too much water, just add some more powdered sugar until it's nice and thick. Um, because if it's too thin, then the color does not come through very well. It don't give you that solid color. All right. So what I'm going to do with the white is create some white donuts. And then I'm going to use this white and add some color to it to create the pink donuts. And once you do that, it's pretty much set. You got your icing with how you like it. And I'm adding in one drop of the deep pink. And as you see here, it's going to be nice, thick, and not thin. And that's how you want your icing to be. So if you ever run into a problem where your icing looks thin in color, then just apply more powdered sugar um, so you can create the thickness and you have some nice coated donuts. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment at the bottom, and subscribe to this channel because just it, it's your girl Ro, you know, and I'll come to give you life. I haven't said that in a while, but like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy. It's your girl Ro about to go and I'll see you in the next video.